This is a tutorial on how to complete a close read annotation using Google Docs. In this instance, I have a link to an article that my teacher wants me to read. You can see it wants me to make a copy, so I'm going to click on Make a Copy. And when this comes up, I'm going to go up to the title. I'm going to highlight copy of and put my name in and close read of and then the title's already there so your teacher knows whose close read it is then you're going to go over to share and you're either going to put in an email address that your teacher wanted you to share or you're going to go over here to where it says get shareable link now you have a couple choices. Um, anyone can view or um, I would say comment. And if you put anyone with the link can comment, then your teacher can leave comments for you in your close read. Click on done. Okay, so now I am in my own document to create for my close read. I've already read it through once. I've read it through a second time. I've done a pair share perhaps with a partner in the class. And now I'm ready to go back through and closely read this article. And I'm reading through here and I see, oh, knights tied, knots tied on a string. Well, how, what kind of communication is knight, knots tied on a string? So I've highlighted it and now I'm gonna go down here to this explore button. I'm going to click on explore and I'm going to type in not on a string comma communication push return and right away I see a kipu in Wikipedia so I'm going to click on that I'm going to see what that is and look here is the definition of a kipu which um, was also called talking knots. So I'm gonna highlight that. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go back to my close read and I'm going to now click on this button and that's how you add a comment. So I'm gonna click on it and then I'm gonna paste in what that definition of the kipu was. So I've been able now to look up something that I didn't know. So the next thing that you can do when you close read is you want to highlight words and maybe color code them if you don't know them. So I, for all of my words that I'm unsure of, I'm going to highlight it. And for me, I'm going to click over here on highlight and I'm going to use green for the words that I am unsure of and that I may want to go back and look up again. I'm also reading through here and um, let's say I want to share something with the class. So I may want to highlight that, comment, and I'm going to put a question mark, which to me in my annotations means I want to bring that up with my group. So because I know that one question mark means I want to bring it up with my group, um, I will see that later. Another annotation you may want to use is an exclamation point. And that means that this is something either I really like or is important. Click on comment. Uh, maybe let's say I am totally unsure of something. You can click on the comment button again. Maybe I'm going to use two question marks to annotate that I really need to ask that question or go look it up. Another item or another annotation tool you might want to use is underlining and underlining 
can be used for key vocabulary. And you can see that this article already has some underlined with links to definitions, but maybe I want to highlight something like this, machine-aided encryption and decryption. I want to go up here and underline it because I know those are keywords to this article. Okay, so you've seen how you can highlight, how you can use this explore button to find answers to questions. Let's do one more and let's find a definition. So let's highlight transmissions. I'm going to show you a different way to find the explore button. You can go to tools. And you can now either click on explore or define. Let's do define since we're trying to find the definition of transmissions. And over here, a dictionary definition will pop up. You can copy it and now go back to your comment button you can paste it in and now you have a dis definition for transmissions okay i hope this was helpful on learning how to conduct an annotation of a close read in google docs